as mentioned we need to talk about tying the KD rig also a really versatile rig and probably a very underused rig because people don't really understand what sort of bait that you need to put with it now on this particular one I've got a wafter but you can also put a pop-up on it is not intended for a bottom bait it is intended for a critically balanced bait and I've had incredible results with double tiger nuts with a piece of cork inside that also gives me exactly the same look and feel so tying it is pretty easy I take a length of quarter entrap soft in the 15 pound and again I go just more than 30 centimeters in length I cut it off and then I take 14 centimeters of braid and I put it through the stripper tool so yeah just put it in there and pull it out right I've stripped it I take the front end fold it double and I just make a double granny knot so it's just one and two Pull it tool, fit it over, pull it tight, and cut off the tag end. Now, I'll just take this bait quickly. I always use a bait to just determine the length of my hair. Now, the KD rig that I make is what is generally referred to in the market as a short KD. Now short KD means that the hair is just slightly shorter than normal. And to determine that I use the Korda Crank Kamakura, probably the sharpest hook on the market. And incidentally Ali Amidi from Korda caught a 153 pound Siamese carp on a size 4 Kamakura crank and that is a phenomenal capture it is a huge fish on a hook that is considered small for that type of fish so getting my measurement I make sure that the bait is just not passing over the bend of the hook if I have to slide it like that it just does not pass around the bend of the hook now tying it is very easy again the close end of the hook is facing you and I've got the closed end facing me and I go around once twice three times now I grab the hook by the eye and I lift the hair so that the hair is hanging free and I go another one two three times under the hair just with my nail I just push that back hold it back up front and push it through the back of the eye so it's always from the back of the eye to the front of the eye I very regularly see people that push it from this side that that way the problem that it creates is it pulls the hook in the wrong direction so you don't get a grip effect but you normally get a pull effect then I just tighten it with my thumb and forefinger and there I have it a KD rig the effect is the hook is going to lie flat and the bait is going to sit just above it the minute the fish sucks on it it's actually just going to flip the hook this hook always targets the bottom lip finishing it off on the back end again let's go for an 18 centimeter hook link I measured it at 19 I fold it double and I just make a double granny knot just a double granny that's once through the loop and twice through the loop and again just ease the knot don't force the knot because you don't want to 
break the coating on the braid and I just tip it off and there we have it a perfectly constructed KD rig you can go a little bit further and you can add a bit of putty I'll just do that for you now I had brilliant uh, results last year fishing with Pietri at the Gano Salveer um, on the show with a KD rig and all I do is I just form the putty around exactly where the coating of the braid ends. So just mold it a little bit round like an oval shape. The effect is amazing. Look what it does. The minute the fish picks up the hook hangs forward. If the hook hangs forward it's always going to attack the bottom lip. Perfect rig for pretty much any circumstances the conditions as long as you've got a lake bed that's got gravel sand or even a bit of salt this will do the job really nicely because you'll have a critically balanced bait the putty is called as dark matter putty I love this stuff I pretty much use it on every rig that I tie. Great stuff.